Hello, in this video I'll show you how to get the .NET 6 ready for using on Visual Studio. It's not in the Visual Studio preview, now it's available on the normal Visual Studio, so I'm going to show you how to sort of install things and what you need to install and how to get it. And this is just a console application I'm showing you right now, and if we go into Target Framework, you see we have .NET 5 as the latest version, and once we install it, you will see that we will have the option for .NET 6. Now, the first thing we need to look at is we need to go into these notifications and check if the Visual Studio version is indeed the latest version. If it's not, like we have in this case, we need to view the details and we need to update the Visual Studio. It has to be the latest version was available a bit earlier than this version, I believe, uh, but it's better to install the latest and get everything for the latest. So, Let's update it, let's install it, and then let's take a look at what else you need to download and install. So, once you have your Visual Studio to the latest version, you can simply do the next step, and that's all that you'll need to do. Okay, and I'll show you one thing later. Basically, you go here to the Tools, okay, you go to Tools, and then you go to Options. Now, this is kind of difficult, because we need to find one checkbox to check. It will be in the environment and it will be in preview features. Okay, so you go into options, then you have environment, that's a, a first uh, tab or whatever you want to call it, uh, uh, and then we have preview features. Okay, so you go into preview features and you get quite a few options. So if you're missing something new, perhaps something that you want to try, uh, go here first and see if maybe it's available by one of these uh, checkboxes. Okay, so we have um, several different things. Uh, GitHub Actions, we don't want that. We have uh, Load Projects Faster, right? We don't want other that. And then we have show all .NET Core templates in the new project, right? And then we have use previews. Okay, so what you want here is use previews of the .NET Core SDK. You select that, you then click OK, and then you restart your Visual Studio. You restart it, you go back to it again, and you'll have your target framework. Okay, we have your target framework. As you can see, we have .NET 6. Now, I've just selected it. Originally, this project was uh, basically an empty console application, right? And it was .NET Core 3.1. But if I launch uh, this, uh, simply by uh, basically updating the Visual Studio and checking the box and restarting it, I can simply move it to .NET 6 and uh, launch it. Okay, as you will see it runs, I just want to show you that it does indeed work, nothing crashes, nothing breaks. So right here we have hello world, right? That's all that we need to see. Now let me show you where you can find uh, the SDKs of the runtimes rather uh, for when or if you want to actually host your application on your server or something of that nature. So if you actually need to install it, if you need to install it, you can go here to download .NET 6 right here. As you can see, the latest is preview free. It's still in preview. So do be sort of careful about that. You will need to be updating it uh, quite a lot if you choose this as your uh, launching point for one of your new projects. So do be careful and do be mindful about it. It doesn't really bring too much of an advantage, uh, I would say, yet. Okay, it's going to be probably useful, probably some performance improvements, but nothing severe yet. And I'm going to leave the link in the description uh, to this uh, site if you need to download it. And as you can see, you have SP Core Runtime. And if you want to host it, if you want to host it, you see you need this hosting bundle. If you host on Windows VPS, you will need hosting bundle. You download that, it will work perfectly fine, then you can publish your project and it will run. Now, do subscribe to this channel and also take a look at my courses. Take a look at my C-Sharp course, my Blazor course, my API development course, 
and my latest software giant course which uh, uh, takes in api development blazor uh, sql server a bit of html and css it's a very slow paced course so i'm typing and talking uh, it's more that uh, kind of a course uh, but it will cover all of those topics so 11 hours long uh, so do take a look at one of my courses so uh, you will learn a lot and with that said we will conclude this video